Hi, I'm back. And uh, previously we were talking uh, about the processes of thought. And uh, now I wanted to explain uh, a little more about the thoughts. Uh, one of the things is that whatever we see in this world as a matter or whatever is usually or physically or by touch, by five senses we can perceive as matter is uh, all, was all a thought at one point of time. A thought of, uh, somebody had a thought of putting this camera together, this uh, came together and uh, became a camera and has become a matter now. And as it has become a matter, it has become um, uh, a material thing. So as it has become the material thing, uh, we, 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 f we have forgot about the original thought and we take this uh, thing as a camera. Now it has become a, a camera in our memory as, uh, as, a, as a product. Now it's the same thing with the whole universe. Whatever we can think of, whatever we can look at, whatever we can imagine, it's all has the potential to turn into a matter or become a material world. So essentially if we look at the material world it's nothing else but uh, a thought. Now if we look at the stars, we look at the sky, we look at other things, it was uh, also a thought of somebody who we can call the higher being or consciousness or God or many other different names we, we can call it with. Uh, it was thought of something which took the form of matter and became a material thing. So when we are looking at material thing, we think it's, uh, it's uh, separate from, uh, from the spiritual world, but it is uh, not actually separated at all. It is uh, just an expansion of the same energy and same uh, thought taking uh, uh, a form and becoming a matter and material and uh, becomes a material world. It's no different. So that's how uh, if, you, if you are perceiving at uh, the universe, perceiving at other things as a thought, it becomes uh, uh, a thing of uh, uh, love or thing of uh, respect thing of uh, something which uh, has started from a spiritual uh, point of view and has taken a material form. So it has some um, different uh, meaning to it also at the same time. It's just not a camera but it is a, it's a thought, it has some uh, energy to it, it the, some energy has gone into it and it has taken its own uh, f uh, final shape and uh, if we can treat it with uh, some respect then uh, it uh, makes that particular thought whoever had started it up uh, more stronger uh, so you are giving some strength to that uh, original thought of uh, creating a camera so this is how we can uh, give a strength to any other thing any other material thing we look at as uh, as a thought and you can invite that uh, material thing very easily into your life by contemplating it uh, uh, as a thought and showing some love and respect, respect towards it and it is uh, going to come into your life very easily it's not going to be such a big struggle to get that car, to get that camera, to get that aeroplane or to get that house or whatever it's originally all was a thought thought of someone and it's the question of uh, relating with that thought uh, and uh, inviting that into your life and it becomes a simple process of materializing that. So now your thought of having that and the thought of that person who had created that originally becomes one. So you can also become a creator of that. It becomes very, very easy. So that is something uh, you can uh, focus on, change your thinking pattern and look at everything in this world, material world, 
as, uh, as a thought and uh, connect yourself with it. Now, mind is never without a thought. Mind always has some thought in it. Uh, the greatest uh, yogis of all time, those who actually practiced uh, uh, stopping or emptying out their uh, mind from any thoughts, could do it maximum to 11 seconds. So if you and me can <laughs> uh, uh, have a mind without any thoughts for two, three seconds would be a big achievement. So it's always has thoughts and um, the attitude towards our thoughts is uh, should be is just that you become a watcher of your thoughts. Let them come and let them go. Not trying to attach yourself with the thoughts letting uh, them come and don't resist them let them come in and let them go uh, giving you an example suppose you are standing uh, on the roadside and there are many cars coming from all sides uh, you know in front of you from the left lane right lane whatever and from all different directions cars are coming and going coming and going and there might be some beautiful cars and you look at them and you say oh, wow beautiful car and you don't um, jump into that car and uh, think that this is mine now and uh, you look at a bad car or like ugly car you may ignore it or you may say oh, what a what an ugly car and let it uh, you don't jump into that one also and just let it go so thoughts are like those cars coming from all different directions and they keep coming. They are beautiful sometimes, they are bad sometimes and uh, you know you don't uh, jump into those uh, thoughts and don't jump into those cars. So if you don't jump into them, they are going to continue their journey. So they, it's, it's their nature to come and go, come and go. So you let them come and go, you don't interfere with them and uh, as you try to jump into them and uh, try to make them uh, yours, the problem starts. Because now you s have started to identify with that thought, uh, attaching yourself to that thought and trying to become one with that thought, which actually doesn't have anything to do with you. <laughs> so if you become the watcher standing on the side watching the traffic come and go come and go then you are where you are and where you were supposed to be and you are not going along sitting into a thought car and going all the way up and then realizing you are in a wrong car in the wrong direction and it's not for you so a lot of energy wasted a lot of pain taken and then coming back to the same place so you have to really uh, wash them and let them come and go so they don't affect your life. Now, every single thought also has uh, this reaction on our body that uh, it's a very, uh, if you attach yourself to them, it uh, has a reaction on our body like uh, the very obvious uh, reaction on our body of uh, thoughts of anger and thoughts of uh, sexual thoughts or pleasurable thoughts. We have a spontaneous physical action on our body which we can notice very clearly. So I will uh, just uh, advise that uh, the watching your thoughts is a very, very uh, important process. You watch your thoughts and don't attach yourself to them so that you can uh, save yourself physically and mentally. Now, I am a speaker. I go out and speak at different uh, occasions in different uh, areas about uh, mind, thought, body, soul uh, connection. Uh, if you want to have me as a speaker for any event, 